What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So if you guys seen the last video, Mr. Mojo was sick and we got to take in a uh, surprise emergency visit to the vet clinic and um, they kind of diagnosed him. You guys know if you've seen the video, he has like an upper respiratory inf infection, his bronchial tubes, his lungs, everything's a little bit inflamed. So everybody's wanting to know, how's he doing? So, Mo, you want to tell him how you're doing? So I got a little video before I tell you guys anymore. I'm gonna show this little video. This was just morning when Rachel uh, opened the door this morning before she took the kids to school. Um, she always goes out in the morning, gives the cats and Mojo their treats, and uh, here's what he did. Well, Mojo, what do you think? I think that video kind of speaks for itself. So He's really ready for this. What do you got in there? Show him what you got there. I've got his medicine. So Mojo's actually a very good patient. He knows the medicine's in there, and he still wants to eat the and hot dogs. Skeeter don't care. Don't give Skeeter the wrong one. So Mojo's like, oh, this ain't nothing. This is easy. Skeeter, I hope you don't give him the wrong one. I'm not. You Mojo's have like, any oh, faith in me. I don't even have to chew. Uh, I, just, I just swallow them right up. Oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sorry. No. It slipped right out of my hand. I'm so, sorry. Anyways, Mo is uh, on the mend. He's not 100% yet, but he's he's starting to come back to him, his old self. As you guys seen in the uh, security video I played earlier, he uh, he was he was excited to see Mama this morning with the treats. He actually come running to the door. So that's a, that's a very good sign. The other day, he wouldn't even eat treats. He wasn't even out the door to get his treats. No, he didn't want nothing to do with nope. it. So, on the other hand, I got a bowl of puppy food with milk. The puppies are growing super fast. They're eating more and more every day. Mojo said, did you say puppies? I'd like to see these puppies. But uh, I don't think Cora let me in there. No. Nope. Yeah, not yet, buddy. Maybe one day. Poor Mo. Poor Mo. <laughs> Peter, what do you got, buddy? He was chewing on a root. Did you get a stick? Yeah. You're too fast. We can't catch you. Skeeter got a haircut. Now he looks like a little rat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a summer cut. Yeah. He said, oh, I think I'll just follow you. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like my old self. I'm feeling like a teenage puppy. He's thinking I got more hot dogs. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We ain't got no more hot dogs. We got to save them for your medicine. I only bought a couple packs and they don't last you very long. He's like, oh, I love them. They're a good treat. All right. So we're gonna grab some food, head to the barn, do a little puppy update, and then we'll go feed Mo, see if he'll eat, and uh, check on Leesky and Cora, see how everything is doing. Oh yeah, I got some tools out because I've been uh, been working on some uh, projects with the chicken coop. Stay tuned for that. What are you doing? Do you want to come in the shop or what? Like, oh, well, make sure you're getting everyone eggs. He's like, I know the girls have been laying more eggs, so don't be skimping on us, Dad. All right, I got your eggs. Trust me. Don't trip, watch the cord. It's a construction site. Yeah, this is a construction site, boys. Be careful. So, today it is uh, the warmest day of the year so far. I think we got to 82 degrees. So, it's been nice. Hey, Cora. What you doing, girl? She said, oh, you got some of that puppy food with the milk in it? She loves the puppy food with milk in it. But we've been feeding the dogs twice a day. And uh, a lot of times they come out here to feed and they haven't even ate their food from this morning. Where you can't have this. Uh-oh. I hear puppies. I hear puppies. They said, oh, you got there, Mom. The, the, the puppy food sure smells good with the goat milk in it. At least she said, I smell it. All right, let me in there. Let me, hold on. Let me feed them, and uh, I want to get 
the puppy's reaction when you go in the gate. Okay. Come on, Lise. Come on. You don't get this. They're looking at me like, why aren't you putting that in my bowl, Mom? Yeah, I know. Come here, Cora. Oh. oh, sorry, Skeet. You just knocked him in the head. No, I didn't. Here, Lise, come here. That has no idea that everybody's in there eating. What's she doing? Chewing on hay? She's over there. She was chowing down. Now she's looking around like, uh, where did oh. I go? She was so busy over there eating, she didn't even know. It's feeding time. You need right. a spoon? Nah. I'll just use this can. Come down here. I hear them. They hear us. They know when it's dinner. All right, there you go. Let's go. All right, let's go feed them puppies. Hold on, let me go in there first. Mojo said, Ooh, uh, I want to see them puppies, but Cora's gonna get mad. Where's your goat food? Hey, I keep forgetting. I'm so eager to see the puppies, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, excuse me! Uh oh, here they come. Can you see them? Hold on. Here they come running. They're not being too crazy today. Look at you, all well mannered. So today is the first day we actually left dry food in their uh, pen all day. So I'm eager to see if there's any left. Cora has access to this pen too. Are you awake? She Look at the hole red right dug. Yeah, they got a nice little cool hole over there. What are you doing, Pop? Oh, that's not a good Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay, so we got to talk about the toy situation because I don't think I covered it in the last video. Put the dry food in here. Oh, okay. Here you go. Here you go. Here's the good stuff. Hey there. Come on. They already drank all their water. Yeah, I know. So hot today. Who's missing? Somebody's lost from the other ones. Hey. Rachel had to go rescue one. So we're still putting the goat milk in with the puppy food and soaking it for a little bit. Oh, you rescue one? Well, there's one more. Oh, another one? So this is a, um, this little green one right here, the green colored one, is a clone of Mr. Leesky. He looks exactly like Leesky to me. He looks just like Leesky did when he was a little pup. Who do you got, Red? I think that they've ate They quite might a bit not today. be that hungry. It sounds like these pups are, are uh, drinking most of the milk. So they always drink most of the milk first and then they start eating the puppy food, which is fine. Oh, we gotta shut the door off for Miss Cora. Help. Miss Cora likes to come in here and she eats her food and she comes in here and she likes to eat their food as well. Which, they're not hungry. They're not that hungry, but that's fine. They had breakfast this morning. Le leaving the food out full time is a good thing, now that we know that they can eat the dry food. They had breakfast with the milk this morning, and the food. And then we left on the dry food. And I have seen them munch around on the dry food all day. I can get y'all some more water. You guys sure are drinking the water. I'm gonna get like four more bowls. They're going through the water. Uh oh, there's Miss Cora. She said, them donkeys better not be getting too close. I like to bark at them when they get too close to my babies. She said, hey everybody, what do you think of the babies now? They're growing up on me. So the babies are actually five weeks and one day old. You look like a five year old or a five day old puppy. Huh? You look like five a five week. day old puppy. Five weeks. I can't talk. 
I can't. I'm. 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 I I'm get excited. Here. I got puppy yeah. fever. Okay. Puppies are five weeks in one day. One day. I think your sugar's low. I think my sugar's low too, but. Yeah, so they're definitely. They are not hungry. Not hungry. <laughs> they are not hungry at all. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this food up here. Russell. So the goats won't see it. He tried to come in here. Russell said, oh, I'm a big dog. I'm gonna eat that. No. He's not. I'm gonna eat. Look at Macy. She's a. Uh, oh, she's. Uh oh, Cora, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Cora, no, no. She said, I smell that puppy food. She's <laughs> Macy said, uh, Macy's the pink one, right? Yes. She said, I'm gonna spill that wooden spoon and chew on it because you guys might see some That's of the toys not Macy. in here. That's not Macy? Oh, oh this is little brownie. Where's Macy? I just seen her. Right there in front of you. That's Macy. Macy, you snuck around on me, girl. And then... Oh, the you're soft. It's beside you. Oh, you're feisty. I think that's purple. That's purple? No, that's blue. Blue. And they still got um, plenty of room in their collars. Well, they got one more day. Maybe. At least. So, what I was saying is uh, Rachel went to the store the other day and bought some toys and I don't know if I've already covered this or not but I gotta update you guys on this. So she bought some tennis balls and she bought some little rope things. I think we did make a video over the other day. I can't remember. Russell, what are you doing? He said, I wanna play. Here, you want this? Get it. Get it. Get it, Russell. <laughs> so Actually, there's way more than this, but... Yeah. So, anyways, we got these ropes. We got these random toys in here. We had probably about ten. Well, guess what? They're all gone. Where'd they go? Um, Cora. Cora? She, go ahead and tell the story. She came in here one by one and took the toys out and shredded them. <laughs> What's she doing? Yeah, she, she took them. She sees, oh, she sees neighbors over there. <laughs> it's okay, girl. It's okay. Russell, are you mad at your mama for taking all your toys out? She done shredded their tennis ball. I'm gonna have to get some more because they really like the tennis ball. Yeah, they loved playing with the tennis balls. If you guys remember, I think I showed you guys in the last video. Um, this little girl right here was actually the first one that would put the whole tennis ball in her mouth and she would take off with it. And Red. Red loved it. Red did ball. too. It's okay, Sean. It's okay. Oh, are you sad? She does not like being able to. No, she don't like it when we're in here with her puppies by herself because she wants to get in here and be with them. But when she's in here, she eats the puppy food. You might as well let her in. They're not going to eat. They ate a lot of that dry food. Okay, Cora, come on. She'll come in a minute. Come on, Cora. Come on, Cora, Cora. What, Russell? What are you doing? Look at him. He said, you got some hairy legs, man. So a lot of these dogs are crop killers. Did you know that? They are. They're not they only livestock guardians, but they're crop Look at killers. Russell. <laughs> you want to hear? Come here. Come here. I'll let you in. I'm going to let you in the shortcut. Come on. Come on, Cor. Come on, Cor. Come on, Cor. Come on, Cor. Right Look. See? Said, well, that's a new way in. There you go. Babies are fine. I know what you're doing. You just want to hear to eat the puppy food. All right, I gotta get. Well, I gotta check. I gotta out. get some water for them. They drink the water down. So we got these small bowls and a couple of those little pie pans we're leaving water in and just coming out multiple times a day and keeping it filled up because I didn't want to put a bigger waterer out here because I'm scared to death one will get in there and uh, get stuck or drowned or something like that. We don't need that happening. So we'll just keep these small ones out here. I'll just probably get a couple more. They're shallow uh, little dog bowls and that way if one does get in there they can get right out and they're not going to get harmed. Well she ain't eating some food yet. Maybe she... Oh she will. Oh she will. She loves that puppy food. She said that isn't the good That's stuff. That's not the good stuff. Yeah, Dad, don't embarrass me on camera. Hi. You can't have so we got a lot of training going on. Every time I come out here, there's new dogs doing training. They're doing their guard dog training. Sometimes they bark. 
mama will bark or daddy will bark and they'll start barking and when they're not doing that they're either sleeping or they're wrestling or growling at each other a lot of practice see that you guys are gonna make some awesome guard dogs you know that all of you come here russell what are you whining at buddy he's been whining today he said, oh shoot, I'm just going to lay down. Maverick's getting his face cut. Who's Maverick? Maverick right there. Orange? Yeah. Maverick. Uh -oh. <laughs> He's going to get me. He said, give me them Crocs. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. I love the Crocs. That's the only toy they'd ever really want, to be honest. Well, if we had a... Old pair, I got put it in here, but they probably chewed up in pieces and swallowed. Yeah. Really but that's some more training going on. She said, here's what you do on a bear attack. So you lay on your back and you kick with your back feet. <laughs> You're acting like a cat, Green. What? What was that? Well, Russell said, all right, I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this food with the milk. Russell, keep eating, buddy. Russell's got some growing to do. He's he a little bit smaller than the others. Oh, look, he's digging under your shoe. I know. That boy or girl? That's Maverick. This is Red. That's Russell. I'm glad you know some of their names. Some of them don't have names yet, right? That one I call Brownie because he's got the little beige collar. Purple is just purple. Uh-oh, we better fix that board over there. And pink is Macy. Green is just green. Green's a big dude. I don't know his name yet. And blue. Blue. Hey. I can't remember Come his here. name. Oh, here's a little it's Cora. His name, but I just can't here's a little Cora. And then that's light blue. And I don't know his name yet. They all have owners, but some have named them, some haven't. Yeah, they all have owners. Well, they actually, they really do love the dirt, especially on a day like today. Every time I looked on the camera, they were out here laying in this dirt. What? It's a little too hot to be inside the barn, I think, even though it's ventilated. They have but, been sleeping hey. right here in this doorway. They have. Hold on. I gotta get a zoom. I gotta zoom in on her head. Look at her. She's exhausted. She is out. She is out. Her belly is full. Oh, yeah. She's the one I had to pick up and bring in here. Look at this. Well. Nobody's going to eat, so we'll just have to leave it. Not even Cora's eating it. I'm surprised, Cora. Warmer temperatures, too. Yeah. They want to eat the spoon. No, no, Russell. <laughs> already let, leave, Your dad already tore up one of them. Hey, I know you're a croc killer, but that's my. these are my new crocs. They're two years old, but they're my newest ones. Don't chew them up, buddy. Mm. Don't chew them up, buddy. Tell your babies to quit tearing everything up. Here, look. Chew on this. Doing this. Who's growling? Little green. So, and Macy. Like I said, the babies, the puppies, are five weeks old, and uh, they're they're gonna be leaving in three weeks. So, we gotta get all the videos we can in now. The puppies, because they, it's easy to get attached to them. I'm already attached to every single one of them. It's gonna be hard to let them go, but you know, it is what it is. It sure has been fun. It is fun. Puppies are fun. Oh, you know, buddy. Super oh, fortunate. Oh, you know, buddy. Give me that. Because they both they have that. good parents. Yeah. So that's made it so much easier. Yeah. We haven't had any problems. Both, both Cora and Whiskey have been awesome. Hey, now. You can't tear them. <laughs> they will tear your pants up. They got little needle teeth. Wait. <laughs> Russell, what is up with you and my Crocs, man? Hey, what's up with you and my crop? <laughs> hey, no ma'am. Where's our doggies? Don't get too close. No ma'am. All right, let's go uh, see how Mojo's doing. We need, to, we we need to check up him. on Mo. He's hungry. Right, of course, I hear puppies. If you're not going to eat it, I'm not going to waste this good goat milk. Oh, Red doesn't come in the barn. She's like, I've had enough of y'all. Seriously, guys, stop. Mm -hmm. All right. I gotta get some water real quick, so you stay here and I'll go around. Okay. There they come. Here, fill this up so I have water for the morning. That's fine. Well, 
I don't know if it'll hang on there because it's too heavy. Isn't it? No. You, get, you girls sure are some nosy donkeys. Well, yes, they're nosy. There's guardians of the... Yes, they're guarding this side of the field. Nothing's going to get on this side of them. They have to be observant. Yeah, they have to be They start bringing up and showing some of them. Normal, right? We'll feed you guys in a little bit. I got you guys, I got you girls some new treats too. Yep, they really like their new treats. They're a special flavor. Girls, this is a construction site. You know, you know, you're supposed to be wearing your safety gear and you're not. Alright. Where's Mojo? So it sure does look a lot different with the garden shed gone. Where's Mr. Mojo at? He's probably waiting. Come on. Peterbug, where's Mo? Huh? Can you find Mojo? Go find him. Find Mojo for me. All right, so we'll do a little update here in a minute. Let us feed the uh, dogs and animals, and we'll update you guys on the chicken coop project. <clears throat> Got some major changes from the last video. Mojo, are you out, buddy? Mojo! Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Mojo! No, no. Mojo! There he, there he is! He's okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just tripped you guys. Hold off! You're gonna get a whooping, buddy. You're going to show the other goats how to do that and you're going to get in big trouble. You want to grab it? I know. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Shadow. She's got her old buddy in it. I can't even pick it up. Is you, is you, you are actually polite. Everyone else is trying to run me over. You girls will never learn. If you just get out of the way, you'll all get fed way faster. <coughs> Look at them. I'm gonna make you guys sit here and wait. Look, you're missing out on all the food that's over there because you're Well, you sure are looking shiny these days, brother. Look nice and healthy. Hey, buddy. Alright, so I think we've already updated you guys on something. How's that egg, buddy? Huh? How's your fresh egg? You feeling better? Huh? You feeling much better? Alright, you eat. You need all the energy you can get. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know about you guys, but um, it's February and it's 82 degrees here. Trees are starting to bud out. Grass is turning green. And it's way early. So, with that comes pollen. My allergy starts flaring up. And uh, it's just part of it but I love this weather um, I'll take it any any day there's been years at this time we've had like 10 inches of snow been freezing so I'll definitely take it so one thing I want to show you guys I think I've already showed you Rachel found another goose nest and she's got five eggs right here but we're gonna do things a little different this time as soon as she hatches the babies out we're gonna take them and uh, we're gonna put them in a uh, in the chicken tractor. I'm in here in the dark. I don't know if somebody's gonna plug the light on me. Right, plug it in. I'm gonna get the eggs real quick. But yeah, we're gonna let her hatch the babies out, and then as soon as they are hatched, we're gonna take them and put them in a chicken tractor. Um, if you guys seen the last set of babies we had, um, you know the mama was raising them. Everything was going good. They made it about a week old and they just disappeared so 
don't know what happened with that but we can't risk that happening again so anyways um so mojo he's already done eating he don't have a big appetite right now um he's still not feeling the best but uh we got to keep keep checking on him and uh just keep giving him his medicine and hopefully he'll come back around he'll start eating like he normally did so you already gave water over here yep. all right all right so let's go do an update on the chicken coop real quick and then we'll go talk to the donkeys the donkeys feel like they've been getting left out here lately and i got them some new new treats that they really like i want to show you guys what we got them okay a little quick update on the chicken coop so uh, you guys seen i think i showed you we got all the windows installed the last video or a couple videos back got the windows installed we got the trim installed and then the other day my dad and i worked on this door we just made our own door um if you guys remember this old garden shed we had a uh, house door right here and the way it was designed it was kind of recessed back and it kind of leaked on the floor so we had to replace some of the flooring but got the door done and this is what the inside is going to look like we already replaced all the bad spots in the floor so there is a hind gear reversible rail out nest box so you guys seen these on other channels and stuff they get on the other side lay their eggs and then the eggs roll back and heal we'll do a whole other video over that next time but if you guys remember this door might look a little bit familiar to you this is the door that was in our garden this was the door that was on our garden fence that kept all the chickens out well now it's going to keep the chickens in because uh yeah I wanted this little area right here. Instead of putting this nest box outside, I didn't like the design of cutting a hole in the wall and then letting rain and stuff go around it and getting in the floor and rolling out the floor. So I said, why don't we just um, partition a little area off inside the chicken coop and then uh, we can keep their feed in here. We can keep anything we need for the chickens in here. They won't be able to get in here because all this, this isn't even done yet. I got to frame up some more and then we'll get, uh, hardware cloth and kind of make a wall there and a wall here and we'll use pretty much the same material that is on this door right there but anyways to be continued so just a little update a little sneak peek from for you guys but it's coming along very well so you guys have no idea how excited rachel and i are to get the chicken coop done um, once it's done I can pretty much get it painted now. I was just trying to finish the inside of it um, first, but then we got to build the run. So we'll be getting some some posts and some fencing and building a run. And it's gonna be a pretty big run. It's not gonna be a small run. So we'll see how that turns out. So anyways, I, I was telling you guys it's 82 degrees. I wanna show you something. Look at this. We got some daffodils or Easter lilies that are already blooming. Can you believe that skeeter and it's february yep february already and they're already blooming he said oh they smell good dad i love them i know what you're doing you're trying to find crickets aren't you you're trying to find crickets he's a little cricket hunter all right i gotta get these eggs out of my pocket before i forget did you get the girls their good treats yep all right let me get these eggs out of my pocket all right girls Put your moping around, we're coming. And I did get the eggs out of my pocket, I only managed to crack one. So uh, I got a mess in my pocket, made a little omelet, I guess. Alright, girl, we got your good treats. Nope, oh, I see Cora over there. Look, I'm zooming in on her. She's looking over that door. She's laying on the ground, but she keeps looking over the door. Alright, let's see what you got here. Show them what, uh, what we got the girls. What are they? Peppermint treats. Oh, oh, look! These are even longer, so you don't have to bite my fingers to get your treat. They love the peppermint treats. Here. Oh. <laughs> Here, Anna. It smells like peppermint. It's so good. She said, they're so good. Oh, I, love I, I could eat these all day long. Here. I got them equal. She's equal? She needs one more. Here, Coco, you get one more, girl. Pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, the pants are leaking. Yolk. Egg whites or something. Oh. Anyways, I just need some onions and peppers and I could have a little omelet. 
Well, girls, what do you think of the puppies? You guys sit there and stare at them like all day and all night long. I think you guys like them too, don't you? Do you guys help them protect them? Did you see Etta? What she do? <laughs> she is like, I want some more of those. I'm a they love the peppermint. The last ones were apple, but they really like the peppermint. This is just food. I like them too because they're longer. They're like, lady, just pour it in our bowl so we can eat. Well, she was being a... impatient. Golly, yeah. she went down there with her mouth. Jeez. Share. She loves her food like I love my food. Yeah, she likes Coco's food too. I <laughs> yeah, do, I've already learned my lesson. So if I was ready, I knew what she was yeah. going to do. Now Coco's missing Come out. Come here, Coco. Here. They're, they're sisters, they'll share. <laughs> For this second. Yeah, so anyways guys, that's what we got going on right now. Um, so she went and bought the, the puppies toys that first day. Well, I think it was two days later. Cora took them all out, tore them up, and then I think it was two days ago, I went to Tractor Supply, and I actually brought home some more toys. I bought a rope that had these little tennis balls on it. I bought some other little ropes and stuff, and we can't even find them. The tennis balls are all torn up. They she tore all the tennis balls. They love the tennis balls, and they're they're just gone. I'm like, just gonna go get one of those big packs at Walmart. I yeah, think they just tear them up. I don't think it matters, but but the puppies absolutely like the toys and stuff. It kind of keeps them occupied, and of course the lane over there gives but, them something to chew on. Yes, gives them something to chew on, which is important. They need stuff to chew on, and it it. They don't have a huge area to run around in yet, but opening up that side pen has helped out a lot, and they really like the dirt, so it's been a plus plus What's for everything. What's funny is, she's had toys before. I used to buy her and Leesky toys, and they, and they would just them. sit there. Like, they would not touch them. But, of course, Leesky will go find any piece of junk out in the junk pile and, and drag up here. Sticks and limbs and... Anything. Whatever he can physically drag up here he will metal don't matter what it is and as soon as i give the puppies toys cora wants to play with them and mojo i've gave him toys too because every now and then if skeeter takes one of his toys outside mojo will pick it up only if and he move it only if he thinks we're not watching yeah but he won't like play with it but anyway it's just funny yeah their little antics are Funny. But to update you guys, I know a lot of you were worried about Mojo and uh, we wanted to update you guys and tell you he's on the mend. Um, he's been taking the medicine for a couple days now and I think the second day after he started taking medicine we could already see he was starting to do a lot better because I was actually getting very concerned the day that we found him out there like he was because it was not like him at all. And like I said in that video, um, the last time we ran across a dog like that was bear and that's when he got that twisted stomach and i just was praying that this was not going to be that all over again because that was very hard to deal with and uh anyways that's not what it is and uh luckily we Thank got him to the vet in time could be and, just uh, allergies it could be like i said it it's rare let me show you something see this tree right there it's already starting to bud out this is unheard of for february in our area i don't think i've ever seen a tree there's a couple more i think those are elm trees but they're starting to bud out already and the goats are going to be happy soon because when all these trees start budding out and getting their leaves and stuff on them it's going to be a buffet for them they're just going to go crazy eating all the all the limbs and all the leaves and all that they love it but anyways so guys thanks for all the well wishes and the prayers for mojo and thank you guys for clicking on today's video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one see you guys Girls, you got anything to say before we get off here? Huh? Anything to say? Hard to talk with your mouth full, ain't it?